GPT 4.0 is here, and it has some astounding visual capabilities that you might have missed. Take a look at its ability to render out 3D representations of objects, as well as generating the most accurate, consistent characters we've seen so far. Now, that's not all. In this video, we're going to break down all of the latest GPT 4.0 visual enhancements that will give you more creative power than ever before. So let's dive in and explore the next frontier in AI visual technology together. Now, first of all, we're going to take a look at the 3D object synthesis capability. Now, what this does is it allows you to generate various images of the same object as here. They have created a realistic looking 3D rendering of the OpenAI logo. Then. They put them all together and create a 3D reconstruction from the six generated images. So you can simply ask ChatGPT to develop you various views of the same object, and then it will be able to pass these together into a 3D reconstruction. Now there's another example of this, and this time with a sea lion, and the word OpenAI is etched out on the model. And they've combined these together to create this revolving 3D model. So this can be very useful for 3D modeling and also representing logos in 3D. Now, the next exciting capability that they've showcased on their site is the ability to generate images of fonts. And you can then easily translate these into full-blown usable typographic fonts. For example, here, they've generated the letters of this font and they've asked for it to be showcased as a font would be in a font book. And they've asked for a font that combines both futuristic but retro elements, a molded stamped font. And here you can see it's outputted a beautiful and consistent font. What's remarkable about this is that it has recognized how to keep the same language between each of the characters inside of the font. I have a course on how you can take this type of imagery and turn it into a usable font and even sell that. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Now, they've also showcased how you can create other types of fonts using this method. This one is a ultra futuristic font and it's beautiful and minimal. Just look at how they have removed the elements of the E yet allowed it to maintain its communication as the character of an E. It's absolutely beautiful. And you can see that the breadth of design capabilities inside of designing these fonts is extremely broad. Here you can see an old fashioned Victorian font that looks ornate and belongs on a steam engine. <laughs> Very specific, but they're absolutely beautiful. But let's continue because there's lots more to show you. The next capability is the ability to take a photo and turn it into a caricature. So to easily translate from one type of medium into another. And it has a few examples of this, turning these different photos into different types of illustrations. And you can see it works very well across different facial types, ethnicities, and from different angles. But that's not all. Now, what's particularly interesting is the capability it's displaying in the visual narratives example. And this shows a first person view of a robot typewriting the following journal entries. Now, what's particularly interesting is that it's then able to create another image that is related to the first image. For example, here it's illustrating how the robot wrote the second entry. The page is now taller. The page has moved up. There are two entries on the sheet and you can see this reflected in the image. Now, what is remarkable is that it's kept all components of the previous image the same apart from the ones that it's been directed to adapt. Now, this opens up the door for creating highly usable storyboards and comic book strips, as well as actually using these in a separate way to generate longer video clips with AI. And the idea for moving forward with getting longer AI videos is going to follow this process. This is what we're seeing emerge as the most likely solution to generating much longer video clips by taking a long story, breaking it down into its constituent parts and generating images that are consistent for different checkpoints in that series. So for example, if you had me get up, turn around and sit back down on this chair, you would start off with one image of me on the chair, another image of me standing, a third image of me rotated 180 degrees, a fourth image of me facing the camera, and then a fifth image again of me seated. And it would then look 
at the most sensible and realistic way to animate between each of those images. Now the final image output in this example is the robot was unhappy, is the robot was unhappy with the writing. So he's going to rip the sheet of paper. Here is his first person view as he rips it from top to bottom with his hands. The two halves are still legible and clear as he rips the sheet. You might have to say there's a little bit of distortion on the text in the second paragraph, and it's not exactly clear why that's been distorted. And one thing I would have to mention is it has left the original inside of the typewriter. So it's very odd that he would take it out, rip it out, and then type it all again. And then that would be a very odd process for writing a book. Now, another example shows them taking the OpenAI logo, also taking a coaster and describing the materials of it, and then asking them to overlay the logo into the coaster. And it's done a remarkably good job at previewing this mock-up of how the OpenAI logo could look on this potential piece of merchandise. And this shows the possibilities for rapidly creating product packaging and different types of merchandise for different situations. Now, the ability for this version of ChatGPT to render text in different circumstances has accelerated a huge amount. Here we can see them asking for a poem to be rendered on a page. So you can see this realistic handwritten poem executed with zero spelling errors. So it's been able to take the exact text and then render it out accurately on the page. And that's something that's been really challenging to do recently. We've had text, but it has not adhered 100% to the exact text that we've asked for. Now, the ability for this version to render consistent characters is absolutely astounding. Here in this example, you can see that they've created a character called Geary the Robot. And he is then rendered out in a number of different stances, positions, and activities. And you can see that he maintains a remarkable level of consistency between each of the frames. Now, I'm paying particular close attention to the proportions of this individual. And he maintains a high degree of fidelity in every situation. And this again opens up the possibilities for creating much more complicated narratives and stories using ChatGPT. Now, this is another interesting example where they've taken the OpenAI logo and asked it for a concrete poem in the outer shape of the OpenAI logo composed of the word Omni. So here you can see that they've change the stroke, the outline of the logo, to be comprised only of the word Omni, which is not a simple task to go about doing. It has to understand exactly what that means, and then also to create and render an image that solves that exact problem. Now it's gone a step further and actually overlaid a rainbow coloration to the logo. So this is great for taking logos of your own and creating different versions of them for different situations. Now, this is a very exciting example where they've taken two images of two individuals and then asked it to render out a poster of this example using these two characters. Now, it's asked ChatGPT to improve this poster and you can see that the final poster takes the two characters and also puts them into a poster with legible, accurate text and applies a stylistic approach to this with a number of different grungy effects. Now, this is a particularly interesting example because it also shows the capabilities of generating multimodal assets. So it's not just creating image, but it's also generating sound. So first of all, they put in a description for a commemorative coin. And then after that, they ask for a, an improvement to this which includes adding symbols around the outside of the coin, which represents some of the capabilities of ChatGPT. So you can see here in the updated version, it's taken this feedback and iterated on it to make an improved and more detailed version. Now, finally, they've asked it to play the sound of the coins clanging on the metal. And it's generated a realistic sound of that. Now it's also got a wonderful showcase of how it's uploaded an entire video and asked for a detailed summary of this. So the capabilities of ChatGPT are hugely expanding, showcasing our abilities to work across different types of input and relate those together in a coherent and intelligent way. 
This is going to open up huge possibilities for what we can do, and they are only starting to emerge as we get our hands on the tool. But from my exploration of these tools, the key things to understand is the ability to create consistent characters, to be able to ask ChatGPT to interpret and understand how different objects and characters can relate to each other across different scenes, about how you can synthesize uh, different elements together using ChatGPT. So you can ask it to take inspiration from one image and another and how to incorporate those together without leaving that to chance. I hope you enjoyed this video. What did you find most interesting about the visual capabilities of GPT-40? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. Most of all, I hope you have a delightful day.